Well, Martin, you've had time to digest that Man City game now and the team have been so widely praised since. How do you reflect back on the performance? Um, I think it was a strong performance. I think we did uh, a lot of things really well and uh, and yeah, how we defended, especially the box and uh, and also I think the high press up front and um, yeah, how we defended together was was brilliant. And then obviously we wanted more, we wanted to win the game and um, and we felt like we had the chance to 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 get a win there and um, and yeah, but it's a strong point in a, in a tough game and um, and it can be an important point, you know, going towards the end of the season. So um, so yeah, it was okay. You're right. What you say, you were so organised defensively. You had some rocks back there behind you, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, they're massive. They're they've been so good, you know, the the whole season and um, and yeah, how they defend the box and uh, how they they fight and win their duels and all these things is is unbelievable. But um, I think it's something we do together. I think the whole team, we defend together, we attack together, you know. So, um, yeah, it's about the whole team. But, uh, yeah, they've been they've been amazing back there. So two very good results against City this season. Two really good league results against Liverpool as well. What does that tell us about this Arsenal team? I think you can you can see the quality, obviously. Um, as you say, the the games we played against uh, the two teams up there, we've, uh, we've won and, uh, and draw one. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. And... Uh, I think it also shows, you know, the, the quality in this league. We have to be on it every time. It's not just the, the top teams, but it's every team, you know. And we've said that many times. Every game is is so important. And uh, yeah, that's that's the same now going into the end of the season. You know, every every time we play, we want to win. And uh, yeah, that's the mindset we want to keep now. What's the biggest difference between now and this time last season? Then I think you see, I think you see a more mature team. I think. Uh, We've learned a lot from from what happened last season, and uh, yeah, obviously it was a it was a really tough end for for everyone at the club, and uh, and yeah, I think we've used that in a good way, and um, feel like we're a lot stronger this year. Um, obviously, some new players coming in as well, and and bringing some quality. But I think what we learned and what we went through was uh, yeah, something something good for the team to to progress and and to grow. So um, yeah, it was painful, but if you use it in a good way, you can can help you you know so hopefully that's that's what we can do this year everyone has an opinion as you know but in your opinion who are the title favorites now no, i don't know to be honest i think uh we don't care too much about the other teams we focus on ourselves and um, and the job we can do and uh, what we can control and yeah that's just the games we play you know so um i think that's our mindset to just keep focusing on ourselves and and keep working hard and, and try to win every time we play that's that's the mindset so then we'll see but three teams slugging it out into April in the title race. It's its some dynamic, isn't it? How high is the standard between the top three, do you feel? Yeah, I think the standard is, is unbelievable in, in the whole league, to be honest. Um, as I said, every every game is, is such a tough game and you have to be on it every time you play. And um, uh, yeah, that's the Premier League, you know. Um, that's the quality here and uh, and I love it. I love the um, how competitive it is and... Uh, you have to be so sharp in every moment, in every game. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So um, yeah, we're lucky to be a part of the, the best league in the world and um, we'll enjoy the, the fight. As captain, how proud are you of your teammates for, for some of the courage I think they've shown in recent matches and in fact, all the way through this season? Yeah, I think, as I said, I think we've grown a lot as a team and uh, and uh, yeah, people taking more and more responsibility and um, and. Uh, and yeah, you can see that on the pitch and the confidence we have in the team now and um, how much we trust each other and uh, and understand each other on the pitch. So yeah, I'm really happy with the with the progress and and still I feel like we can be better, you know. So um, so yeah, that's a good thing and uh, that's what we're pushing for. What as captain do you do you really try to give to the the dressing room? What would you say is your biggest strength as a leader, Martin? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'm someone who leads by example, but I think um, yeah, I always try to get the best out of everyone around me and uh, try to give everyone confidence and um, everyone to bring their best qualities, you know, and uh, to bring the best version of themselves every day. And uh, yeah, I, f I feel like that's what I'm trying to do to just get the best out of the team and um, and best out of every player. Um, and yeah, help them on and off the pitch, and, and that's it. Every top team seems to have a group of leaders. So so also. Apart from yourself, when you look around that dressing room, who else do you look to for for inspiration? You know, besides the manager, I think a lot of the players. To be honest, um, as I said, I feel like we've grown a lot, and 
all the players taking a lot more responsibility and um, and uh, yeah, all the players more experienced this year, you know. So um, to be honest, a lot of the players and everyone in in different ways. Um, I feel like. Uh, you can you can get something in in that sense as well out of every player and uh, that's what i'm trying to do to um to get a little bit from everyone and then uh, to get the best out of the team at this stage of the season in this situation how much martin is it about controlling emotions in the face of significant challenges yeah i think it's important uh, really important i think uh, such an emotional game and um, as you say a lot of a lot of pressure a lot of people talking and all this but um as I said, the main thing for us is to just focus on what we can control and what we can do. And uh, and that's day by day and every day in training to come in and work hard and, and be a little bit better. And um, as I said, work on the details we can do better. And um, I think if you focus on those things, it's, it's easier to, to keep your mind uh, cool as well. So uh, I think that's, that's the way to go. Your manager leads from the front. He's been there as a player as well. He guided you, took you so close last season. Do you think also he continues to get better and better? Yeah, definitely. I think every day, you know, he he's pushing us in uh, in new ways, and uh, he's always finding uh, different ways to do it and um, different ways to send uh, the message he wants to send. You know, so um, yeah, he's an unbelievable manager, and he's he's so good at finding those uh, small things that you can change or tweak or you know whatever. So um, yeah, it's it's so good to work with him and. Uh, yeah, as I, as I said, every day you can learn so much. So, yeah, it's unbelievable. Especially as captain, what would it mean to you to get over the line this season, to be lifting that Premier League trophy? Yeah, I think it would it would mean everything, you know, for, for all of us, for the whole club and, and all this. But um, as I said before as well, it's, it's a long way to go and uh, we have to take it day by day. And, uh, of course, you have to dream. Um, but, yeah, keep the focus on the moment and work hard and, and then we'll see. If you could pick just one thing, what do you think is the most important quality your team needs to show between now and the end of this season? It's hard to pick. It's hard to pick one thing, but um, I think we should just keep doing what we are doing, um, keep being hungry, and um, and yeah, keep pushing each other every day. The margin for error is small, isn't it, in this title race? Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's as I said, the best and the most competitive league in the world, and uh, I think you. You can see that every week and um, and uh, I feel like that's a good thing. I enjoy it so much and everyone enjoys it and uh, it's, it's a good thing to be a part of. So we have to enjoy that uh, that battle as well. Is that the absolute key, Mart, what you've just said there? I know the pressure that surrounds every game, but trying to enjoy and relish the situation that you're in because it's taken a long way to get here. Yeah, definitely. You have to enjoy it. Um, I think everyone who plays for this club, we enjoy playing so much together, you know, and... Um, and uh, yeah, every time we step out together, it's the best thing we do. So of course you have to enjoy it and uh, play with a smile on your face and um, and then uh, put up a good fight as well. And take nothing for granted because every team is tough. I mean, you saw that last time against Luton. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, that game was a good good proof of that. You know, you, as you said, um, every game is so hard and we've seen that against other teams as well. It's, uh, it's never, <laughs> never an easy game in this league. So, so yeah, you have to be on it every time.